Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to do a very simple beginner's tutorial, and it's about putting color paintings on a face. And one of the things I'm going to try, instead of just putting it on any faces, I wanted it to have a dark background, so it just shows up in the face. So let's get started. So I pulled this one from stock photos. It's uh, just an abstract. And I just put, I guess I looked for abstract or paint splashes. You can pick any. I also show you later on. I did that one too. Um, so let's just keep this one here. And I have this man right here. And the reason I like this guy is because he had a black background. But I'll show you later on. I'll work with this girl who, who does not have a black background. And so let's start with uh, this guy right here. And... I don't like the white, so I'm just going to bring him big, a little bit bigger like that. There we go. So it's only a black background showing. And let's get close up here. And now we're going to take this painting and put it in front of him. And look how easy this is going to be. All you have to do is select that layer with the painting and do color burn. And there you go. It's as simple as that. I mean, how's that for a fast tutorial? It has a great look, and I like the color burn on a black and white photo because of the dark background, and all it's showing is the colors that you need, and anywhere where there's a shadow, the color disappears, so you see right through it. So I'll also show you a couple of interesting techniques you can do with this, but first let me show you how I did it with the woman. So let's uh, turn that off and turn that off. And let's turn the woman on. So what I had to do for the woman, let's just do layer, new fill layer. And let's just put a black background. Make sure that that doesn't look black to me. Let's make sure it's black all the way. There we go. And I'll put that behind the girl. And again, this is a beginner's tutorial. I'm not going to get fancy. So what I'll do is I am going to just paint her paint around her that's all I don't really need to do anything more than paint around her so I'm just gonna take a paintbrush in black I'm not even masking it this is I'm just trying to show you how simple this is gonna be because most of this won't matter and I'm just gonna go like this a little bit of a fading out of her there and real quickly now remember, I'm just taking a round paintbrush, painting in black, just to get rid of most of this excess. So we only want her face showing up here. And most of it's there already. You can see that the shirt is close to black, which is close enough because it won't show the colors anyway. But I'm just going to do very quickly. And I'm working with a mouse, by the way, not working with a pad. And I can always undo if I need to. I'm hitting my left and right brackets to make my paintbrush either smaller or larger. So this is all I need to do for that. And I'm going like this. And that should be good. So the process is pretty much the same. I'm putting this right in front of her. And that's that black. I just painted that black over her. And it's, it's on color burn. So you have the same thing. Now remember, you can also move this around if you like different parts of this painting. Now here's some other interesting things you can do. Let's um, bring him back like that. Now maybe you don't you want to put add another one. So let's well let's first do this. Let's first turn that one off and put this one above. So what I'm going to do is, is not just change the color, I'm going to add it to it. So I have two paintings. I put one on top of the other. In fact, I can re do that if I want one on top of the other. It depends on which way you like it. So now I have two colors. I can go that one. I can go that one. Or I can maybe take this one and change the opacity. So now I still have a mixture and I could still move that one around. So now I have two paintings working, and you can add as many as you want. So it has different looks to it. Now we can get rid of, once again, we can get rid of him and add her back in. 
and and same thing we have now we have two colors of her and maybe we want that one and maybe we don't want this one or maybe we just want this one 100 percent one more thing you can do is you could for example um if you want to change some of this let's select that piece of art that's the art itself and you can add a mess to that and you can paint in black or white now remember if you paint in black you're making it disappear so say you wanted that magnifying glass just to have that and I'm not going to do that because it's ugly but maybe you wanted some of this beard to show through like this and you'll also remember that's one way to do it but you'll also remember that let's do this first and you can see what I'm talking about so that idea is how you get the beard back but I'm going to undo all of that. Okay, there we go. Undo. So now we add the mask again. And on the mask, remember you don't have to paint in black and white. If you saw my last tutorial, I showed you how to paint in shades of gray. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Let's, um, let's paint in. Let me give you the, let me get back to my color wheel. There we go. So let's paint, instead of in white or black, let's paint in some kind of a gray. So gray is more of a transparent painting. So I can get rid of some of this color if I want, but I might want to lighten it a little bit. And so maybe on the beard, I just want to go a little bit lighter, or maybe on the eyes, and bring some of that color back here. So you still have some color in the beard, but not as much. But I personally, I like it just the way it was like this. And that's the way I think I'm going to leave it. So that's a quick tutorial. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and please share my channel. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye.